el ganador Miguel Todo. He has 16 and 0 with 16 wins by way of knockout. He has 17 and 0, a perfect record with 14 KOs. Sharp, fast, powerful combination by Miguel Cotto. Yes, he's got him in range in round one. Miguel Cotto. Left hand. Cotto wants to cut him down, right? Big right hand, right hand for Cotto. Back up to the left. Well groomed for these moments. 2000 Olympian. The mouse is devastated by the second left. There we go. There we go. Left hand to the head. Cotto. 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 Power shot to the head and to the body. And he's coming forward, he just took a shot to the chin. That's a right hand over the top. Right hand right over the top. Oh, right hand, go down. Lady Bresco quit the damage of fights. Five times for Olympia. Don't know how to work hard in this fight. Left might have to pay for that. Yeah, right. Combinations to the head. Mouse is still trying to throw, trying to throw uppercuts. Now Mouse is doing Mouse is looking to pop left. By the way, all you computer heads out there, we got Koto has his nice yes. Mouse wants to stand there and try a hard left hand. One of the best referees in the world. I'll give the crowd a little more action. Body punches out. It's tough. Oh, goodness. We got Koto has not up too much. Combinations once again to the head. Does a hook to the head. Good right hand once again. I feel like they'll be looking at that back once again in the corner. No matter of fact, they're going to do it right now. Yeah, actually, I think it's about time because I got. Tight they just stopped it. They just stopped it. Good foot throw. Running his record to 18 and pounds. Undefeated in 20 bouts with 20 victories and 18 KOs. Undefeated in 20 bouts also. 20 victories, 16 KOs. Early on, Pinto wants to remind Cotto why he couldn't beat him as an amateur. Cotto wants to let Pinto know that was then, this is now. Hard left. Pinto seemed to have been so still. There Pinto lands a left hook and another left. The catch it with a left hook and a, and a clean up punch. Roundhouse right over the top by could probably win those fights with his jab. And I was going to say what Cotto got to do is try to get close to him and with punches would be more effective. And Cotto lands a left. Cotto blocking some of Pinto's step inside and inside the whirling dervish that is Pinto with all those long shots. They're getting there first. And the left hook gets there again. And now to the body. And another one on the chin. And Pinto just firing. A Good shot by Pinto. Pinto landed something that has made Cotto think twice. Cotto's approach. And there's a hard right hand followed by the left hook. The one two puts Pinto down. Result of the knockdown of Kelson Pinto. It was pretty powerful. Yeah, it was a it's tip. The Sydney Olympics. It was not against the same kind of opponent. Competition. That was a huge left hook by Cotto. Pinto keeps throwing. Hard. Well, Pinto seems to be doing, instead of coming out guns blazing, the short punches. Punch Box Cotto from out here. Pinto slightly wobbled. There he goes. Second knockdown of the fight. This in close is too much strength, too much power, and that's more comfortable. To trade with Imploto, as Emmanuel pointed out, the stronger fighter, and this barrage of right hands, they wind up ending the fight. Imploto came out sensing that Pinto was dazed at the start. has been down. He just fell on him right like a play. big cat, Here comes Ricardo like a lion, Ricardo, the manager and the of fight is over. The fight is over. Ricardo Maldonado came in to rescue his fighter, basically saying, This is too valuable a commodity to let him take a beat. Took the lead, he went after him, and after the knockdown at the end of the last round, he studied Pinto.
28 bouts, 28 victories, including 26 knockouts from Barranquilla, Colombia. 24 bouts, 24 victories, including 20 knockouts. WBO Junior Welterweight Championship over the world. I've gone over the rules in your dressing room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Most of all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. Touch gloves, Baba. Torres seems to be looking to throw. Left hook puts him down after a perfect counter straight right hand. Away from home and this big crowd is noisy. The corner's gonna have a... Oh, oh, and Torres hurts Cotto with a left hook there. Miguel Cotto electing to trade punches with a guy whom he had knocked out. Both George and Larry making the point that Torres wasn't all that hurt. And now momentarily rocked the opponent in round one. Now Cotto takes Torres to the ropes, trades with him again, and once again, Torres lands enough to back Cotto off. Who's hurt? It's Cotto who is hurt. And he's hurt again by a straight right hand. And Cotto tries to grab and hold, going into a crouching position, but now he gets caught flush with a right hand. It feels like he should trade. George, it's exactly the wrong thing to do. No, when you're in with a puncher, he's got that many knockouts, you don't, you play hit and defense. Cotto is wobbly and the ropes hold him up for the moment. He almost went to the canvas on that shot. As another left hook. Minute and a half to go in the round. He gets ripped again and down goes Miguel Cotto. This he may need more than anything else. But from those blows. Big left hook by Torres. Cotto has come back with two stiff punches. Now everybody shots and keep his defenses in position. It's in 40 pounds. Any punch can take you down. Cotto is the more polished of the two. But he's still getting hit with a lot of what Torres throws. Trading left hooks at close range. Oh, but the body shots. Man. Body shots by Cotto. Back. Torres comes back with the right and the left. Cotto driving him into the ropes. To throw his left hooks to the body, he didn't get deterred. He's going right and bring him back. I think if... There's the left hook to the body, which is going to make this... Relax a little bit, and that's when the trouble starts. Left hook to the body, landing with... On a good meet, you go right back to that grocery counter, and that's There's what he's the doing. Left hook to the... About two weeks to go, Lennox Lewis wound up in an entirely different style fight, riding his time and waiting. Oh, Cotto badly hurt with the right hand. If Cotto didn't go down, from a straight right hand. Far away from him as you can and recover yourself. And the same point, he's recovering from shots too. Cotto's best shot. Cotto staggers when he hits. One, a little bit more of a working margin perhaps as Cotto gets hammered go because the action is fast and furious as they trade punches at close range. And eight rounds without a knockdown because he had Bigo Cotto staggering. Cotto catching Torres on the end of a punch again, and down goes Ricardo. And referee David Fields is going to stop it. Miguel Cotto survives a life and death challenge from Ricardo. Combination. Watch the left hook to the body that finishes this up. Right hand. One more time to the chest with that left hook. And Nico wins no losses 22 wins coming by way of knockout tonight making the sixth defense of this title you know what an interesting side like to the fight and it might turn out to be more than that well now you got to turn this into a boxing match especially now stay away during this round and look at the right. to work on it yeah, he's not the big puncher. He has all the skills to do it, but he keeps getting oh, right at the corner of the left eye. And Koto now the combination. Malinaji. As well. Oh, and a good left hook combination back from Malinaji. Oh. Slugging and pulling and rushing. 
Good combination has not stopped. He's been busy like this. That's what you want to keep a puncher doing, starting all over. Oh boy, you bet. You know, now he's not shooting back. Be to say, you know what, guys? Not tonight. Injured. What up, Miguel? Performance. Ooh, oh, that's it. No, Najee is hurt, but he fights. That's the problem here. <laughs> now, Koto with fight stars. <laughs> Left from Koto that landed. Both of them giving it everything right to the final. Quintana win. The notion that he is perceived perhaps as a good guy and it comes as a terrific body puncher. But, and Corley, who rocked Cotto early in their fight, doesn't hit Neil. Good idea? I don't know. We'll find out as Cotto digs in tonight. Very interesting first round. More punches landed by Quintana. So an action packed opening round here in Atlantic City between Cotto and Quintana. He doesn't move back well. On offense, he does everything. 27 of those. The shots he wants. There's a good left hand by Quintana. It did in that sequence. Oh, beautiful left hand. Nice comment. He doesn't give you a lot of patterns to deal with, and it's very body. Remember the sixth round of the Julio fight? He hurt Joel Julio with the body. He's trying it again now, thinking about it. Cotto ripping some good body shots, but... Nice left hand ball. Notice there was an ice bag instead of an swell on the eye. Good left hand by Cotto. Another one. Every once in so often to try and compete. Lefty against lefty. Do this, he was so effective as a right. Well, but guess what? And now he switches back to conventional, and he's landing to the... This fight has turned. Oh, my. And Quintana is down. Now looks very hurt. A punishing body shot, and now Cotto's looking to end it. He's down again. Switches ear, and he says, you want to continue? Cotto's trying to end it. Only five seconds left. Can he make it through the round? He holds on for dear life, and he made it. And I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't do it. Cotto's done. He does not want to continue, and Miguel Cotto, victorious. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. He is the new WBA welterweight champion of the world, Miguel Cotto. Just the curiosity, and speaking of curiosity, the boxing world is curious. Does Miguel Cotto still want to fight? This is a very good to be stationary to throw. Right hand lands for Cotto. They're hurt, they're hurt for me. Right hand. His hurt feet for momentarily. Me. Hard right hand by Foreman. And the left hook. Sudden offensive rally for Foreman. Off the last two rounds, I would also observe. Here's an excellent left hook by Foreman. Oh. Foreman apparently trips over. A photographer right. Right. suffered right. an injury. You walk it off? Give me time. Walk it off, champ. Suck it up, kid. I think this former can't take his body shot. Oh, if he can't fall with a good body shot, he's fighting like... He's got a brace on that knee. Larry Foreman hobbling on the right knee. Oh, he's done. There's no way he can continue in the fight at this point. How courageous is this? Or how foolish? This is a pitch. The Foreman fans are in ecstasy because their man closing in on a big win. Oh. Left hook knocks the mouthpiece out of Foreman's mouth. That was a brilliant uppercut hook by Cotto. So much stronger than Foreman. Hammering footwork tries to fight back. Hard right hand by Foreman. Forey, Yuri Foreman, knee locks again. Oh, Cotto pushes him back to the ropes and fires another comment. And the towel comes in from Yuri Foreman's corner. And Mercanti does not have to stop the fight because of South. What a take, Jarvis.
job by Arthur Mercanti, who simply wasn't going to allow the fight to end. Left hook to the body there. Oh. Odom comes back with the left hook to the body and cracks it. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And now Mercanti's going to stop it. I told and you that's the knockout victory that Cotto was looking for. I told you. It's the punch that once defined Miguel Cotto's career.